Hey everybody, so yesterday I did a video and it was kind of advanced. Uh, it was supposed to be a video ranking because that's what people ask me for. Uh, and I did it kind of like I always do them and I wasn't thinking, you know, hey, what about the beginner? And as soon as I got it done, I was like, man, why didn't I do that for beginners too? Uh, so I am making part two to this. And we're going to show you guys if you don't know how to do any kind of coding and or if you got lost with yesterday's uh, video, this should help you out. All right, so uh, with the free version, you don't get these three tools right here. Uh, they're turned off for you. Uh, I don't think you get any of this stuff down here. It's really what the free video is really about building accounts and uh you know if you decide you don't want to do this you're just wasting your time building all those accounts uh but you know um i wasn't real thrilled with the the uh, free trial i actually just bought the licenses uh i think you buy one license and it gives you uh two it gives you so you can put it on two different computers and you know that's what i did i just took a chance on it i figured well you know, it's got a 30 day money back guarantee. So, you know, if I don't like it by 30 days, I'll, I'll turn it back in. Now, it's a good tool. So I've had it for, I think over a year or somewhere around a year. And uh, I get in these spurts where I do a bunch of campaigns and then something comes up, you know, right now, like my computer went down and I got sick. So I haven't done hardly anything for about a month. Uh, but anyway, Getting back to this, how to rank a video, beginner style. Um, first things first, optimize the video. And I gave you a bunch of URLs under this in the description that will help you. Some of them cost a few bucks. Some are, they have free things, but you, you don't get everything you really need. Uh, some are totally free. So, you know, there's a few things down there that do cost a few bucks. They're generally worth it. That's why I put them there. I know that I use them every single time. So it's only going to make you uh, get better results. Um, but check them out. If you don't like them, hey, you know, I did my best to uh, share with you what I use. All right. So a lot of you wonder probably, uh, you know, how did I spread this out? So right here it doesn't really show anything but right here if you put your thing you see that uh there it kind of makes a double arrow so you can drag it and you know it's not real quick like it doesn't uh react on a dime uh especially if you have something going on in your computer um but yeah and the other thing is is the if they these tools aren't there for you unless if you're in a free trial they're never going to be there but if they aren't there you can click your uh you right click on your mouse and hit advanced and if you don't want them there you can do the same thing and they'll go away so um that's how you get that so youtube what is that for so yesterday i showed you how to embed your videos well you can do that automatically right there but this is only for the before the article or after the article. Yesterday I showed you how to put them in the middle or in the, you know, a couple different places in the middle, whatever you wanted to do. You know, yes, I had one at the top. I had one about, you know, a couple paragraphs down and another one a couple paragraphs down. And there you go. And, you know, heck, we could preview this. I'm not sure because I just pulled this one up, but it's generally the way I do it. It's if I was making a blog, it's the same way. All right, so there you go. So I spread them out with a couple articles. I mean, uh, a couple paragraphs, or maybe quite a few paragraphs. I think this was a long, um, a long article. Yeah, it's 1,424 words. So yeah, it was a big article. So I just spread them out. And in this top one, I generally just do one or two. And I don't put the same, like this is all for the same same niche. 
and I don't put, um, uh oh, and I don't put, um, those videos in here. So I think there's, I don't know, maybe 10 videos for this particular one I have. And each time I, you know, do it, I put, put it in there. Uh, I do this all through what they call a, I should have put that in the thing too. I use Notepad++, which you can find that, just type it in, Notepad++. The reason I like this is because it gives me numbers. You know, if you're using Notepad, which I don't have up, right this second, there's no numbers. And I just save this stuff. Uh, I save everything that I do. You know, if, if I'm using these keywords, like this right here, you know, I'm using these keywords, then that's what I'm using. If I'm using like this right here, this is uh, part of some of the stuff down below in the description. I save it so I don't have to keep, you know, finding all this stuff and, and writing it over. I just save it and I put it, a title in there where I'm going to be able to get it. So even these things, you know, some of these uh, links and stuff that I do, I save all that stuff. You know, I just, it's a little piece of code. It's, it's not no big deal. So I'm able to put my videos in different areas. All right, and you can do that same thing with pictures. The same thing works on pictures. So uh, let me get rid of this. This is the beginner way. So all you have to do to embed videos on this is just put them in here, one on a line, and hit insert. But like I said, it only puts it in the top or the very bottom. So, you know, to make things different, you have to use the code. And after you do this the first time, you can actually copy the code up there and that'll help you out too. Um, and then the next one is your photos, the same thing, bottom of the article or the top. So that means everything's at the bottom or the top and there's nothing in the middle. Well, I don't write a blog post. You can go anywhere and look at blog posts and there's, you know, photos and all kinds of stuff in the middle. So it kind of looks weird to me and, you know, I just wanted to make it look more natural. Alright, and the same thing with the links. I write my own code for that. But, you know, you can, if you don't know anything, you can say, okay, I'm going to put one, one link in here. And here is the link. Anything that you put up here, that's the link. If you put, put multiple in, ones in there, then it's going to pick up whatever it wants to. All right. The same thing um, with this right here. You won't, as a beginner, you won't even see this down here. Um, but these keywords that you're putting in here, these basically are your titles and subtitles. So the subtitles, so what, what you want to do is if you're running more than one campaign on the same set of keywords, is take this one out, put it at the bottom, and let this one be your, your top keyword. Don't use the same keyword at the top unless that's what you want to do. All right, because it, it's going to affect this down here. See, watch. You could, oh, you probably can't see it. So it says insurance home inspection, and that's what it says up here, home insurance home inspection. So if I take that out and I say, okay, cut, um, whoops, delete the, I got too many things going on here. All right, so delete that one. All right, so now let me put this back at the bottom. I go down here. Oh, oh. I hit enter and I copy it back in so it's still in there. All right, and then um, down here it says commercial building inspection. All right, so that changes that. All right. And like I said, if you want to put one or two or three or four or five links, uh, if you just want to do, like if you have one video, you're going to put one video up there and um, you put your list of keywords in there 
or you can put one keyword in there and then you definitely have to have generics oh not on not on videos i'm sorry videos i never use generics um i just use a straight video anything that you have on your tags for that particular video i would use and you could probably add a few you know um, a few more keywords that are related and you're set to go but a lot okay so as a beginner there's there's a couple different ways you can have multiple keywords or you can just do it for the one keyword now if you're doing uh, this for a website then you have to use generic keywords all right just just to put that out there all right so that's how you do that uh, I don't know why these ended up over here again it's kind of weird usually they're just right here but you can see the video and the thing and it, like I said if you want to hide it uh, I don't know why sometimes my thing does this uh, I have no idea why but if I right click it and take the advanced off then it starts trembling down and it takes the advanced off and you're all set so if that ever happens to you um, you can do it that way all right guys so I hope I simplified this a little bit uh, especially if you're a beginner you know you just uh, basically uh, you don't have to code nothing you just come up here right click and hit advanced and it takes a few minutes and there they are um, they must have changed this or something I've never seen them over there but you can put your links in right here and you can put your links here over here and uh, if you actually if you tried to do it coding wise uh, you have to put no links or that link will show up and if you have like five links you're gonna have six <laughs> all right uh, your videos are here you just take that you put your videos in one per line and insert them and you'll be all set there same thing with photos uh, I hope that helps you out and um, check out the description check out those links they're gonna help you uh, if you're not going to do the spin text you know you can use it later maybe um, but there is a lot of good links down there that will help you uh, get with your campaign so I appreciate you I hope I simplified everything if you need something shoot me a, a comment and I'll try to help you out all right have a great day, guys. See you on the next video.